Good day, everyone. I'm Jared, and I'm going to be your naturalist today on our virtual expedition. Today, I'm going to share a really fun activity with you that I do aboard our ships with our younger travelers or our National Geographic Global Explorers. It's called Ice Cream Glacier. And what we're going to do is we're going to learn about how glaciers form, how they change our landscape, and lots of other things about them by building our own glacier out of ice cream. Glaciers form when layer after layer of snow builds up in the same place year after year. This ice continues to build up this snow and it gets really heavy. And what happens is all of the weight compresses the underlying layers of snow into what's known as fern or glacier ice. You can see there's a little bit of a blue color there because that ice has been compressed and pushed down under all that weight. Along the outside of these glaciers, you might notice a dirty line. That dirty line is called a lateral moraine. I just picked up this rock and debris fresh today here. We have another moraine that is in front of the glacier, okay? This is our terminal moraine here at the terminus or end of our glacier. We need one more component here to make this ice move, and that is gravity. Let's add a little gravity here and see what happens to our glacier if we can get it to move. You can see the glacier is pushing its terminal moraine right in front of it. Once they make their way to the ocean, big pieces of ice begin to break off into the ocean, and that's known as calving. Here we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. Right here in my backyard, you have your own calving tidewater glacier. Many glaciers around the world are retreating very rapidly, but I'm not sure that I can say that climate change is the main cause of this one. Mm. 